waiting for the hot spot and then the dark spot. 226 lux. Okay, so I've, we've measured our cutoff line and our potential hot spot area. We're going to record a lux reading of the halogen bulb. Uh, the important measurement is the hot spot, um, just for the sake of knowing the difference between the halogen brightness versus the LED brightness, and then also the dark spot uh, above the cutoff so that the uh, we're not blinding the oncoming traffic with the LED bulb. Okay, so what we just did was tape off our cutoff line for the halogen original factory halogen bulbs. Um, I also noted the hot spots. Uh, so what we're going to use those for is to possibly adjust the LED headlights and just make sure that our cutoffs are where they should be. Okay, so we're going to remove the headlight housing. This one's pretty simple. Uh, it's just two bolts holding it down. We'll, we pull it out and then we're able to unhook the, uh, the low beam headlight and it's a simple swap out. So this, this bulb will be going to the low beam. So we pulled out the headlight housing. For this car, we can leave this attached. We're going into the low beam cavity. And this is the dust cap. And you're gonna unscrew that. This will twist, pull out, and it's just the cap. And then there's the bulb. Uh, this one will go ahead and untwist the bulb out of there and then take this, this socket connector uh, off of there. Uh, some you may have to remove the socket connector and then remove the bulb. It just depends on what bulb there is. So we'll just twist counterclockwise again. Okay, so there's our halogen bulb and now we'll disconnect the socket connector. And there's usually some locking tabs on there keeping it together. All right, so uh, we're going to um, install the LED bulb into the uh, the housing, and a good way to, to know which way to go is just examine the locking tabs here. Uh, they're asymmetrical ones, and then there's symmetrical ones. Uh, same thing with here. There's two asymmetrical cavities, and then one symmetrical one. So we know that we'll have to go into the housing like this and then it's going to rotate clockwise to lock into place. Next is to connect the connectors. We're gonna stuff the connector inside the empty cavity here. Get that down in there and put our dust cap back on. Uh, so this one ended up a little higher uh, than our cutoff point that we measured earlier. So we're gonna adjust it and bring it down below the cutoff point. For this vehicle, uh, it's an Allen wrench right here, and we're going to go counterclockwise to lower the beam. Okay, after we installed the LED uh, headlight, um, the new one, uh, we see that our cutoff came up a little bit higher than our original head halogen. So we're gonna bring it down to below the halogen. And then we're gonna take some lux reading to see that we are dark in our cutoff and as bright or brighter than the halogen in our hot spot. Oh yeah, and this is getting 273. So the cutoff is four lux higher than the uh, halogen bulb. Um, I'm I'm looking at the headlight now and it's, and it's not blinding me. Reading uh, more lux than uh, the halogen bulb. 